My name is Professor Henry Mutembei, the Vice Chancellor of Chuka University. Today I'm not speaking as a Vice Chancellor, but a very excited scientist who, after lighting the projects, the technical projects, and defended it with the International uh, Atomic Energy Agency. We were funded for three years, and it is renewable. Today we are here to, to look at the equipment that have come through this project. We have uh, microscopes, digital ones. We got a very modern ultrasonography machine. We've gotten artificial insemination kits. And for me, what is very important is that uh, the United Nations is supporting Kenya, specifically to improve agricultural productivity. So as a Chuka University, we feel privileged to have been selected to be part of this project. This equipment, they will not, not only be used in, uh, in teaching, they also be used in research and as for income generation. So this project is a benefit for us. We are grateful to the funders because it has saved the university a lot of money, actually about 50 million and the university could have used this money to buy this equipment. So we are honored, we are happy, and we will make sure that the equipment will be used in the right way possible. We will use this equipment also for outreach programs. So we make sure that the communities are also part of us, they will not be left behind. And we will use them also to mentor the young people so that we, be have, so that we make sure that we have the future veterinarians and the future lecturers. Personally, I am very impressed because our Vice Chancellor has extended that hand of uh, gratitude and also sharing and uh, donated some of the equipment to my faculty. Uh, that's the Faculty of Science. We have disciplines like uh, biochemistry and they are going to benefit very much uh, by what we have received today. We have also had an equipment that has been received by Biological Sciences to do uh, uh, what we call precision uh, microscopy, which is, uh, has the capacity of being uh, attached to a screen where you can be able even to demonstrate in a class setup when you are teaching. And also it's also usable for research, uh, in research by all the researchers that we have here at Chuka University. We are very grateful because the Vice Chancellor and through this project, he has shown us uh, the way of how to approach uh, multidisciplinary research. This is a research that is geared towards improving uh, reproduction in animal and also in agriculture, where we have seen it is utilizing all the available disciplines we have here at the university. There is animal science, there is plant science, there is biochemistry, there are biological sciences, and physics is also coming in uh, as a uh, specialist and expert in microscopy, not to forgetting chemistry, which is also coming in through biochemistry and also through chemical procedures in doing the research that we're envisaging. To me, I would be very glad by the end of the project that we, have a, we shall be having a center of excellence, cuts of EIEA on animal genetics, reproductive technology, and, and uh, nutrition, animal nutrition. But in addition, we had a very good discussion with the National Reaction Office, and there is the need to have a center of excellence on utilization of nuclear power to advance agricultural productivity in this country. As a director of research, I'm very happy and I thank you, uh, Professor Henry Mutembe, our Vice Chancellor, for what you have done and you are setting a good example for us and the other faculty members about writing proposals and even going further to write proposals that are going to equip this uh, university so that we are able to have equipment that are state of art that will bring something new and improve humanity. Uh, thank you so very much. I do believe that we are going to use the equipment 
for the purposes that have been uh, speci specified. Besides the research that we'll do, there will be exchange whereby especially the lecturers or faculty members from animal science will be able to go to other state of art labs outside Kenya and learn and be able to bring the knowledge back. We have the, the ultrasound, we'll be having experts to train part of our staff to be able to use these equipment and use them well so that we are going to make this university great. This equipment, yes, we are going to use them for teaching because university we offer science-based courses and animal sciences is one of them where we're going to use them for uh, laboratory work because not only do we teach, not only do we take them to the farm, but they'll come back to the lab to see the science-based part of it. Why am I saying so is that the students, we are also training them to be researcher so that in the future they can be able to collect data and come and see what kind of challenges are facing us so as to improve food production even using science. Not only are we going to benefit the students but also the researchers. Now because this university we have uh, teamwork, we work with people from different kind of departments. So we have people from the environmental sciences, the chemistry, the biochemistry, the physics. So with teamwork we shall be able to solve different kind of problems within our country. We know that agriculture is the backbone of the Kenyan economy and therefore these instruments here that you can see are going to play a big part in revitalizing agriculture and making sure that our, our common farmers are able to enjoy these facilities. These facilities will go a long way, not just even for crops, but for animal science. We shall see a lot of things in animal breeding, uh, artificial insemination, and even a tomography machine where not just even, even in agriculture, it can also even be applied even for human beings. Now, the future of any nation is about technology and when we have this kind of donation where we have the cutting edge technology, we see that the whole nation is, adv is advancing. This is in line with the bottom up uh, 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 party philosophy of the government where we want to make sure that the common man is, 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 is enabled and is uprifted and capacity is built to, make sure, to making sure that, that they are able to participate fully in nation building. What we are looking at is capacity building the skills of our staff. The other day I sent through this project two staff from the University of Nairobi. They went to Zurich in Germany and they are supposed to go and look at the newest technologies in that sector. Understand them hands on and they come and utilize them to uplift the lives of the Wanjikos, the farmers. In Chuka, we are expecting to also send three or four staff in different parts of the world. Especially, we'll start with the Russian, we'll be going to a lab of our choice on animal nutrition. And we'll combine some manuals from Karo, two of them, who will be going to Munich and in France. Then we'll get some others here, Mary and their group. They can also go and advance their technologies in both breeding, genetics, and animal nutrition. This equipment that will be, will be utilized for everybody in Chuka. The essence is Chuka should also open the windows for utilization of the same equipment by researchers from our neighboring institutions. And I want to thank even Kenyan colleagues who are in Vienna. I know some of them like my colleague, Professor Suma, is there. Let them support us, support the country, so that we can advance the government, national government uh, philosophy of uplifting the Wanjikos. The Wanjikos are the farmers. Once we really uh, move with them, help them in this uh, analysis and advisory, because when we analyze, we shall advise. We train I am looking forward for us to start training even artificial inseminators here who will be serving Mount Kenya East. And uh, 
I'm just glad and I, I have liked my colleagues came here to witness and they are with us here and I am seeing a new dynamic shift towards has putting more effort in the research projects. Actually, if you, once you start eating the fruit of the research project, you might, not, you might never come out of it. I, re, I actually, I regret being now in management, administration, and my field work is reducing significantly. But I will be taking my leave and be going to be the scientist that I have been and then leave others in the office. And uh, thank you very much to all the officers who supported some colleagues of us who wrote this thing overnight and I just want to thank them and we shall continue partnering with them. Thank you.